and we're back at the fifth part for our mansion turtles. What can we do in this part then? Is preparing for the next episode where we're working on our roof. I'm also going to be adding some decoration around the back and also around the top here. I'll uh, be starting off then just coming round to the back and on the third block out from this middle section. We're just going to add our four quartz blocks and just leaving a four block space between each one. Then what you want to do for all of these, just go ahead and extend them all up and have 8 more blocks. And once you've done that in front of the bottom quartz block of all of these, we're just going to add a quartz stair. And once you've done that on the 7th block up, we're just going to add an upside down court stair in front of all of them. And on top of the 4 upside down court stairs we just added, we're just going to add another 2 more quartz blocks on top of all of them. Then what you want to do for all four of them again, in front of the bottom quartz block, I would stand a quartz slab on the top half of the block in front of all of them. And on top of the four quartz slabs you just added, just stand another two more quartz blocks on top of each. So once you've done that, as you can see in the image, on the top half of the bottom block we just added, with all of our quartz blocks, in between them are what we're going to add is our quartz slabs across. And after this then on either side, what you want to do is connect up the sides here, add uh, to the wall. Now that we've done that then what we can go ahead and do is go ahead and fill in all of this space here with our quartz slabs. Then once you've done that in between all the top quartz blocks here, just extend across your quartz slabs again. And once you've done that on either side, again using our quartz slabs, we're just going to connect it to the wall. Then what we're going to do for the four quartz blocks here, on the second block from the top, I just add a button on the front of all of them. And there you go, oh, that's that bit done. So what we're going to do now is come above it and work on this section. So we're going to start off buying four quartz blocks again on this top row, and you just want to leave a four block space between each one again. Then after this in between all of our quartz blocks, what we're going to do is down an upside down quartz stair. And after this then in between all of our stairs, we're just going to add our quartz slabs on the top half of the block. And 
and after this turn underneath the four quartz blocks, which can add an upside down quartz turn underneath all of them. And lastly then, to finish off this little bit, what we can do on the front of the four quartz blocks, just add a button. And there you go, oh, that's that bit done. So what can we do now is coming back round to the front, where what we can be doing next, on all of the corner blocks, which can be adding our quartz blocks. Uh, the only time this is going to be different is when we're on the sides, as we're going to be adding our quartz blocks as well, uh, in line with where our stairs are. That's the first two added, and now just continue on round and doing the rest of the sides. So now that we've done that, what we can do next to all of our quartz blocks uh, is we're just going to go ahead and add our upside down quartz stairs. So when you do this, you want to place them in between all of our quartz blocks. As I mentioned, uh, we just want to make sure to miss out the corners. So when you're placing it, you just want to place it on the bricks and not on your quartz. So now that we've done that, what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and fill in all of the space in between our upside down court stairs with our slabs. And there you go, oh, that's that bit done. So what can we do now on either side of this front section uh, is we're just going to be adding a quartz block on the second block in. Then next to this we're just going to add an upside down quartz stair. 
and on the three remaining block Stanya Court slabs on the top half of the block. That's his left hand side done and now just doing the right. So now that we've done that what we're going to go ahead and do all the way around on the side of all of the quartz blocks and this includes the two at the front here as well. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and add our buttons. The last thing we're going to do now to finish up our border at the top here, drag them to the top row all the way around. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and add our stone brick slabs. So the last thing we're going to be doing then to finish off this part, just coming on top here where we're going to be adding this front window. Uh, so what we're going to start off by doing is extending back our stone brick slabs here by one more row behind it. Then behind this what we're going to add is a row of stone bricks. The next thing we're going to do on top here is mark out where our window is going to go. So from the left, just counting eight blocks in, we just want to add two quartz blocks on top of each other. After that, actually, in a two block space, we just want to add two more. The next thing we're going to go ahead and do around our window is add our decoration. So just starting with the left hand side first. And what you want to do is count to the fourth block in on the left here, 
we're just going to place that four stone bricks across the bottom and on top of the far right too, just adding two more. Now we've done the left, we can just mirror what we've done on here on the right hand side. So again, just placing uh, four stone bricks at the bottom and just two on top of the far left hand two blocks. And after this and on top of the two quartz pillars, we're just going to add four more stone bricks on top. Now that we've done that, then what we want to go ahead and do, as you can see in the image, come on the row in front of where our stone bricks are behind. We're just going to have stone brick slabs diagonal to each other. So we're going to do this all the way up, and when you get above your window, you just want to add two across. Uh, so we're just going to come one block in from the edge here, on the row in front of the stone bricks we just added. That's the left done, and now just finishing it off by doing the right hand side. The last thing we're going to do then to finish off our window, in this base here we're just going to fill it in with our black stained glass panes, and on the second block up on either side, we're just going to add our buttons. And there you go, that's that bit done, and that is actually the last thing we're going to do to finish up this part. So what we are going to be doing in the next part then, is finishing up the whole of the building, uh, by adding our roof in. But again if you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Also if you built it, uh, make sure to send me on Twitter because I love seeing your progress, especially if you send me it throughout the episodes, because uh, it's pretty awesome to see your progress of the build. But again, I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next episode.